Good morning. I'll switch back and forth with my Dene language because that way people can understand what I'm saying. Dene Sosine language, no heyatie, it's been around for centuries. Hoa means we have room. Hoa, we have room for people. We don't have a word like English, welcome, but we say uh, ho a. Uh. The timeline of our Denisotine language here is about 8,000 to 12,000 years ago, the northern prairie region of what is now called Canada. All of those people up in the north from all the way now, what is BC, Alberta, Saskatchewan, Manitoba, and all the way down where our Denisotine people lived. From 1620s, the initial European contact with the Denisotine established. That was when my great-great-grandparents lived in the teepees made by either caribou hide or moose hide. And everything was done from the moose hide. All our clothing, all our shelters, moccasins. From 1689 on, the Hudson Bay Company attempted to establish trading relationships with the Dene Sotline by constructing a trading post. As you all know, the people that are from the far north, the Hudson Bay Company has been in existence since 1670. And back then, we now know where the Churchill River is, and that's where our Dene Sotline, with the Cree people, start making that railroad. And that trading post was the main gateway to all the other European countries. And that's why you see, you saw all those queens and princesses with those big fur coats, Arctic hats, that then the people trapped those. From 1715, the trading between the Dene Sotline and the Hudson Bay Company firmly established. As you all heard back then, Yanisi, long time ago, when a trapper would want a gun, and those guns were about this high, and he had to pile all his furs till it reached the height of that gun so he could get that to use for his hunting. Imagine how many furs that would be. From 1780 to 1790, the Hudson Bay Company established a trading post along the Dene Sotline southern borders. So everything, and that's when, in 1781 to 1783, the smallpox, just like the epidemic today, killed thousands of us. Seven, 1899, the Dene signed a treaty with 
the feds that granted them hunting, fishing, right, as well as reserve land. You all know that history. The depth of that plow, what was our land was. Underneath all of that, they told us it didn't belong to us. Even though we're on the Denisotina traditional lands, where all chemical is now, we're still very poor. The uranium is killing us. Back 32 years ago, I remember when my father, J.B. Gar, was one of the 10 chiefs from Meadow Lake Tribal Council when Cameco came. He was the only one that stood up and said, Do ho nu nanaka, do I have a need a hand in it? Are you told, go outside the house a hand in it? My dad, when he sat with the ten chiefs, he was the only one that stood up for our grandchildren, our great-grandchildren, and that ones that weren't born yet. Because he said, it's going to start to kill you. Because that Uranium is going to cause you death, whether it's cancer, whatever it is that you eat around you, you will see animals with two heads. And that's happened. We're still very poor. We're prisoners in our own land. So we have to really bind together. Then in 1970, Indian Brotherhood of the Northwest Territory is created to protect the rights and interests of the Dene Sotlina language. After all this happened, today our treaty rights are being sabotaged. We have to fight for it, for our children, our grandchildren, and the ones aren't born yet. In 1990, the Dene Sotlini language became an official language in the Northwest Territories. Even though we were still speaking 300 years ago, only in 1990, that our Dene Sotlina language became official. We now live. The whole Turtle Island, Holy Alano, Nanaka. Yase, Nune Dene Sotlina, Night Daisy. Labrador, a cousin that the Nasutlina not dealt la, Florida, and a Samanella Indian told the lie. California, because it's Cheyenne or could a the Nasutlina Dandy. Alaska, and our Dene Sotlina, the Hyindi Indians, the beaver. All of us. So do you, all of you, whatever nation you come to, you live at the shores of your own land. 